Working in the engine compartment, remove the expansion tank cap, green arrow. Be sure the engine has cooled before removing this cap. Cover the cap with a rag when opening. If there is any pressure still in the system, this will lessen the spillage. Working at the bottom of the radiator, remove the radiator cover fasteners, as indicated by the green arrows. Once the fasteners are removed, the metal bracket will come off. Note the position of these brackets for easier reinstallation. Then remove the cover from the vehicle by pushing it towards the front of the vehicle to unlock the tabs that lock into the subframe, green arrow. Then pull down and remove from the vehicle. Place a five gallon bucket under the left side of the radiator. Remove the radiator drain plug and drain the coolant, green arrow. Allow the coolant to drain into a bucket. Once the coolant has stopped dripping, reinstall the radiator drain plug. Some E90 models have two radiator drain plugs, one on the left and one on the right side, green arrow. If you have two, remove the right side after you're done draining the left side. Working at the right side under the vehicle, behind the sway bar, locate the back of the thermostat. Then remove the hose by loosening the hose clamp, green arrow, and pulling the hose off the thermostat. Allow the coolant to drain into a bucket. Once the coolant has stopped dripping, reinstall the coolant hose. Be sure the hose is installed correctly and replace the hose clamp if there is any doubt that it isn't in good condition. Filling the cooling system. Using a 50% distilled water, 50% engine coolant mix, slowly fill the expansion tank, green arrow, until the coolant level indicator reaches max. The level indicator diagram is located on the tank, yellow arrow. Reference this when filling to obtain the correct level. Working at the top of the coolant expansion tank, loosen the coolant expansion tank bleeder screw, green arrow, then fill the expansion tank until the coolant comes out the bleeder screw. Then install and tighten the bleeder screw. Bleeding cooling system. Trapped air is common when filling a cooling system and can result in improper cooling. It is important to bleed your cooling system each time the cooling system is serviced. Install the expansion tank cap and be sure all bleeder screws are tight. Turn ignition on, do not start the engine. Set temperature controls in the vehicle to full warm and blower fan speed to low. Press the accelerator pedal to the floor and hold down for 10 seconds. The electric coolant pump will run for about 12 minutes to circulate coolant and bleed air from the cooling system. Once the pump has run the cycle, check the level of the coolant in the expansion tank and adjust as needed. Start and run the engine at idle until it reaches operating temperature and then check the cooling system for leaks. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.